In this video, I'm going to show you how you can save a model, so a unit model here, in a format that can be used in Fiji directly by using the CSV deep uh, plugin. All right? So here, if I, I can now close this notebook. Uh, so there's a notebook that is called Saving Model for Fiji Plugin. But the, the main thing is that in Fiji, uh, we need to use TensorFlow 1. That's how CSB Deep was implemented. And here we're using TensorFlow 2. So we're going to need to define a new virtual environment in TensorFlow 1. We'll open the model that we just, uh, that we trained, and then we'll save it in TensorFlow 1 environment so we can then use it in Fiji. So I'm going to close this. Go back to uh, my Anaconda prompt. To kill it, you can directly do Control C parts, and that's going to kill everything. So you see, I'm in the workshop environment. Uh, I want to uh, create a new workshop envir a new environment. So first, we need to deactivate, and you can do it by uh, writing on that deactivate. And you see now I'm out of it. And and uh, to make it uh, easy, I'm gonna directly go to the folder we downloaded from GitHub. And if you go back at the root, you have requirements that we use to define this virtual environment. There's a different requirements TF1 <clears throat> that gives everything we, we need to uh, run um, TensorFlow one. You see here it's TensorFlow. It's 1.15.5 means that it's version 1. So we're going to first create a new virtual environment called TF1 environment. So it's installing everything, then we're going to activate it. We're directly typing on the activate TF1 off. So we know that now we're in the right environment. And then we're going to install everything we need to set the model in the right format for Fiji. So I'm going to speed up video so you don't have to wait for all of this. All right, it's down. So now I can type in Jupyter Notebook to um, launch the Jupyter Notebook environment. And I can go, so again, in local, sorry, I can open the saving model for Fiji plugin. I'm in the right environment, so that should work. It's always same thing, first we load everything we need, and then we define different parameters. So here, the parameters, first one is the name of the model, so which model we, we train we want to save. So that's the one with the learn rate of 1 minus 4. Output directory, I'm going to put it in the same. So in the model directory, and we can define the name. So I'm going to uh, define it as Ethereum Fiji. We have two channels, DAPI and Cytoperatine, and the imaging field is 512 by 512. And now I can run this. So we have a bunch of warnings. It's fine. Uh, and even things that looks weird, no assets to save, no assets to write. And finally giving a, a, a fake, a, a fake, um, you know, path. You don't have to worry about it. Uh, the fake path is because it's first saved uh, on the temporary uh, file and then put it back there. So. Now, if I go back to local unit and models, I have this zip file, which is uh, so the model that is ready to be run in Fiji. So let's go back to Fiji. So of course, what you need to check is that you actually have CSBD uh, that is uh, that is. This is the zone. Need to make sure that you have CSB deep. So these are a bunch of things that you don't have to do. You shouldn't have. 
go to manage a bit size. If you scroll down, you have CSVD here. And so then you can uh, close it and then you can apply changes. So because of this field, um, CSVD actually will show up because it was a wedding. But don't worry. If you do that, you're going to install it and then you can restart a Fiji and it's going to be fine. If you want to make sure that you have it, if you go to plugins and you go at the bottom, you'll find something which is called CSBD. And so you have here, run your network, which is what we're going to do. And so if I go back to my images, I'm going to open an image and test. Oh, so I need to, sorry, I need to close that. I'm going to open so this image, for example, the one that we uh, processed before. So the only thing you need to make sure is that it is in the right format. We have a model that can process 512 by 512 images. So we need to have an image that is a, uh, that can be divided by 512 in width and 512 in height, which is not the case. So if I, again, go um, open a calculator, so here, 512 multiplied by 4 is 20.48. And 512 multiplied by 3 is 1536. So I need to change this image into something that's going to have these uh, dimensions. And so there's an easy way to do it. You need to find the canvas size. I just canvas size can define the new size, which is going to be 2048 by 1536. Position center and zero field, so everything that is not, that is outside the, this region is going to be zero. And so as you can see now, I have an image in the right field. Now I can uh, process CSBD with my uh, model for this image. So if I go to plugins, CSBD, Run your network. This that pops up. So we need to define the right normalization. We have a normalization between one and ninety-nine eight, which doesn't work in my version. So I'm going to keep it to ninety-nine. Number of times doesn't really matter. Which is really important is multiple because then if you give them it's going to find the number of times for this imaging field and then you can choose the model so it is in desktop local unit models and that's this one the zip form we just generated it and then i can run it and so I have some messages. I got an error because I should have channel two. And here is the stack. So I'm going to need to redefine it as channel. So let's just do stack two images. I might still have no. No. image stack. Back to images, all right, image, color, merge channels. This one, this one, okay. Now it's channels, we can see it, it's C. Right, so now if I do it again, plugins, deep on your network, so now I have the right, everything, so is it's initialized the same way we ran it the last time. So everything is right here. I can directly do it there and show you here. Processing is fine. Timing is, in, is fine. Execution is in process. And get the result. See? 
that's really nice. So obviously we get the scores because when we uh, got the the uh, well, each pixel, the maximum score, uh, it was some past processing in notebook. So here we have a score. If we want to go back to the actual image, we can go to image, adjust, canvas size, and put it back to 1800 to, uh, I don't remember. In, let's see for the and correct size. I think it was not exactly for the but it's fine. It was about that. Can look at it in a uh, composite mode so we can have everything together. And so that's great because you train the model in Python and then you can you can uh, process it with VG. So that's great if you have collaborators you want to work with. They don't know how to run notebooks. They don't want to run notebooks. Then still a way with Fiji to do it.